peach pie. As good as your mama baked, Mike. There is no peach pie as good as mama baked. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. That's pretty close. We'll look forward to you on Monday. Coming up next, cartoons as an art form. Stay with us. An age-old art form is on display at a gallery in Owen Sound this month, and the uh, collection is drawing plenty of laughs, but the artists aren't complaining because for cartoonists, humor is a sure sign of success. And Terry Colbert has the story now. Secured to the dock, the Ontario Northland car ferry, Ninda Weymouth, sits idle. But not so with the rest of Owen Sound's inner harbor as the sport fishermen search for the big one. Within walking distance of the harbor is the Tom Thompson Memorial Art Gallery. The gallery houses a permanent collection of this pioneering artist that grew up alongside Georgian Bay. One of my favorite art forms is on display here in the studio area. It's a collection of works by six local cartoonists. Titled Cartoonists at Work, it sets out to show the process that the artist goes through from the original idea to the finished cartoon. Most people love the lighter side of any given situation, and a good artist is usually able to chronicle these moments with only a few carefully drawn lines. Will Van Dyke's keen interest in caricature led him to become a freelance editorial cartoonist with newspapers like the Peterborough Examiner and the Ottawa Citizen. Today, he's a partner in Precision Studio, an Owen Sound graphics firm. One of the interesting things with uh, the cartooning process, working with the packaging and the client, is the strong association and the influence the client has on our work. Their ideas and our ideas become kind of almost like one, and we produce the final piece. It has to be satisfactory to the client, so I find that very challenging to achieve that compromise. Jeff Wilson is a Markdale-based cartoonist. He works two days a week for the Dundalk Herald newspaper, and his cartoon strip, The Average Farm, appears in several Ontario publications. My uh, inspiration mainly comes from everyday life and uh, living on a farm and doing some farming myself. It's a strip that I find I can get ideas from just about anywhere in everyday life. The show will continue through to the 26th of this month. I'm Terry Gulbert for Global News in Owen Sound. Mike has returned uh, this time with uh, entertainment. What's ahead? Yep, coming up. In ...studying cartoon art in Owen Sound. And a Barry man is charged with careless driving. It's probably the most accessible of all art forms, but few people think of it as true art. Well, a new exhibit in Owen Sound is providing an inside look at cartoon artists and how they work. CKCO's Richard Thomas has a preview. The cartoonist get an idea. Well, apparently they don't come when you try. They often come unexpectedly. This panel explanation of the art of cartooning is just one of the exhibits in the show Cartoonists at Work, opening today at the Tom Thompson Gallery in Owen Sound. Put together by Rachel Oliver and Wilf Van Dyke, the show takes an inside look at cartooning, the instant art that isn't always instant. The actual drawing is not the hard part. Uh, you get ideas and you can't figure out how you're going to get on a piece of paper that's only that big. Um, uh, or you get a brilliant way, you conceive an absolutely brilliant idea and nobody else gets it. <laughs> so you have to rework it. Featuring the work of six local cartoon artists, the show includes everything from racetrack humor to good humor, posters and political satire. Wilt Van Dyke says aside from providing a few laughs, the show will give the viewer a good idea of the steps required to get from the idea to the finished product. We wanted to more show people that come here that cartoonist, cartooning isn't just, wow, oh, you draw, that's easy. I wish I could draw. There was a process. Cartoonist at Work is the largest exhibit of cartoon art ever held at the Tom Thompson Gallery. It runs from now until September 26th. In Owen Sound, Richard Thomas, CKCO TV News. And looking at another... Well, they're probably more suited to refrigerators than the walls of an art gallery. As Drew Ferguson reports, cartoons are the subject of an exhibit opening this evening at the Tom Thompson Memorial Art Gallery in Owen Sound. I look at the, the blank page as kind of uh, like the beginning of, of everything, the, the beginning of the universe. And uh, uh, sometimes we don't always have an idea uh, of what we're doing. <laughs> But uh, we, we begin with, uh, with a pencil, to, putting a pencil to paper, and uh, slowly but surely an idea will come. And uh, uh, we, we take the idea from, 
the beginning stage and then purify it and refine it. Taking the step of refining a little further, and I'm putting in little de details here, and I've actually written some dialogue, some, a big piece of dialogue. And uh, then I get into the inking stage here, actually putting in some lettering and some inking and the border. And then here I uh, put in all the finishing touches, the, the tone. There's a ink and brush and tone is put in, and uh, we have a final drawing. Jeff Wilson is one of a half dozen cartoonists from Gray and Bruce exhibiting at the Tom Thompson Gallery. The work ranges from caricatures to Sunday funnies to just plain strange. Cartooning is truly a 20th century art form. People laugh at it and they may cut it out in the fridge, which is supposed to be the ultimate, you know, wow, they really enjoyed it this time. But after that, it's like you close a newspaper and it's recycled like everything else. <laughs> Drew Ferguson, News Now, Owen Sound. A piece of Southampton's marine heritage has been...